Ha, good morning all. Uh, I am Subramanya Arya, working in the department of M MCA, MIT Mysore. Today I am going to discuss about one very interesting topic of computer science that we call by name uh, DBMS, Database Management Systems. Before entering into the today's topic guys, I will try to take up some vision and mission of my institute, of our institute and vision and mission of our, of our uh, department and as well as the course objectives. So vision and mission of our institute is, uh, vision is to be recognized as a premier technical and, ma and management institution promoting extensive education, fostering research, innovation and entrepreneurial attitude. Mission of our institute is to empower students with indispensable knowledge through dedicated teaching and collaborative learning to advance extensive research in science, engineering and management disciplines to facilitate entrepreneurial skills through effective institute industry collaboration and interaction with alumni. To instill the need of uphold ethics in every aspect to mould holistic individuals capable of contributing to the advancement of the society. And now I will take you to the vision and mission of our department. Vision of our department is to be the premier source that provides a transformative education to create computer professionals, competent entrepreneurs and technocrats to meet the global challenges. Mission of our department is to facilitate students to nurture skills, to practice their professions competently to meet the ever-changing needs of society and environment, to develop the potential of human resources with new ideas, research to meet the requirements of cutting-edge technology. Now let us I'll, uh, take you to the course learning objectives of DBMS database management system and it's a course code with 18 MCA 31 in VTU uh, with the help of this subject student will be able to do that means to understand the fundamental concepts of database management systems he can design an year diagram scheme on relational tables and writing he can write some queries understand student can understand how to develop a database application with the help of by learning this DBMS subject. The course outcomes of this DBMS is at the end of the course the student will be able to demonstrate the fundamentals of data models and conceptualize the depict a database system and make use of ER diagrams in developing an AR model. To summarize the SQL and relational database design even that also he can learn then he can illustrate the trans we can illustrate the transaction processing concurrency control techniques and recovery especially in the database applications right then inference the database design in the real world entities so let us will enter into our uh, today's topic uh, before entering into the today's topic guys i'll try to take up one simple example uh, through that example let us will try to enter into the topic right into the subject. Guys, here I have written few words. Look at this one. Some English words, power, words, water, and, or, easy, to, but, recover, difficult, to, something like this. So guys, uh, with the help of these words, can you frame a, a meaningful sentence? So definitely, when we analyze by picking each word from this set, and definitely we can make up one meaningful sentence. Let us, we'll try to make up. So one where uh, it, uh, a sentence could be a proverb of English is what one clue I can give for you. So let's we'll try to pick few words, uh, that's word one after the other in a systematic manner and let's try to frame one sentence with this. So guys, uh, let's I'll take up this water first and words are easy then I'll take up this two then I'll take a per, then I'll take a but, then difficult, then I'll take up two, then I'll take up this recover. 
So probably we have, uh, we took almost all words from this set and we framed one meaningful sentence here, meaningful proverb. So what is the proverb framed? Water and words are easy to pour but difficult to recover. So to further, now instead of the, when compared to this, this is giving a, a meaning, right? A wonderful meaning, water and words are easy to pour but difficult to recover. But when we see these things, definitely that doesn't convey too many things to for us. For us. So once after framing this kind of a, a sentence with the help of this set of words, that is with a systematic arrangement, definitely with, by applying some uh, uh, grammar rules and all, and definitely we can frame one wonderful sentence. So this sentence conveying more information, more thing when compared to this. So that means this sentence is framed. That means the sentence is framed with the help of these words. So for that, this become an input for my this sentence, for this sentence, right? So for that, what we can call these words? And definitely we call the name this as a sentence and it's giving a some information for us, conveying something, right? For us when compared to these things. And this input, what we use to frame this sentence and this we call it by name, data. Right? So that means this is a raw material to make this sentence. So for that, data means what? It's a raw facts. Where it can be stored somewhere, right? By whatever we stored as a data, you know, as a raw fact, that will pick one after the other and we arrange in a systematic fashion and we frame a sentence, right? And it is conveying some information. That means uh, we pick up this word, this word, this next, like that. We did something, you know, definitely. What to call this one? Yes, this is processing, right? We did some amount of processing here. Right, you know? We did some amount of processing on this data, the draft facts as what we are having. Then that becomes what? That is giving some uh, meaning for us. So for that, that we called by name information. Then what is meant by information? For this information, we require a data, right? Data as an input. That means data, whether we took directly and we framed a sentence, no water, words, no, you know, we, did, we have never did like that. What we did, we applied some technique. We arranged in a right ma manner, in a systematic manner, right? So that give that becomes a uh, sentence, right? That is giving some information. So for that, information is a processed data. That means information is some processing we did on this data, right? On these data items and we arrange and that becomes a information. So that data is a raw fact which can be recorded. That means which can be stored, right? So by uh, this data become an input for this information, processing of this data that becomes a information where it gives us a, a right meaning. So today why this uh, data information and all required is uh, most of the time we have seen that uh, in the world will store and what all the will store many different types of data items is that the only the words that means the text information that only become a data it's a text information right our uh, text is also a data then what different kinds of things we can able to store usually will store in the day to day life is so sometimes we'll go with uh, student images we can store you know not any not a student any images images also we can store even that also becomes what a data that means i'm talking about the types of data text data we are having images data images as a data we can use and even we can store what videos that also as a data right right then after this even some audio things right that also will take it as take it as a data so these are all the different formats of this data that's it so by using this, definitely we can frame some information. We can get some information by collecting, by ordering, all these things. So now, uh, before entering into the uh, next topic, that is to know about uh, DBMS and all, prior to that, let us I'll take you to the tour of uh, one small example. Let's say, friends, uh, you want to apply for some job. So for that, what you'll do is, uh, you want some certificates, let's say 
from uh, you want one study certificate or rural or Kannada medium certificate let's say you have studied it in some uh, rural uh, school that is from some village in in some village so what you want is uh, you want that uh, you want to get that study certificate of some 1 to 10th standard where you have studied so what you do what you'll do is uh, you go to that school and uh, it is required to go for uh, giving some uh, uh, application you have to write then that you should give then then only you'll get a certificate but uh, can remember friends you have studied that uh, 1 to 10th uh, uh, last uh, 15 to 20 years back but when you go back to our school possibility this also might happen that means you don't have a teacher in which uh, that means during those days uh, when you have studied the uh, when you when are studying in uh, that school that is 1 to 10 standard there might be possibility that uh, there could not be a teacher as what you are having in those days or sometimes there could be some transfer and all then who will recognize you that means he is my um, my our own my own student or this school student or the alumni of this uh, school definitely difficult to identify so, uh, and uh, the teacher who are there you know uh, you, they never know about you that means you are the student of this uh, that particular school so what is required is uh, definitely they'll say uh, which batch you have joined or what's the year of joining or uh, they'll, they'll ask what's your name many other things but even after that the school might be of having a history of uh, 30 to 40 years that means recording all uh, the track all student data especially student data that's a name date of birth father name mother name many other things uh, what mass he secured when he joined uh, definitely this all the important data to be recorded right so possibility that at, at this point of time you are asking for a, a for a certificate you know have a, uh, that you want but uh, to uh, have that certificate they need to know about all this information they need to fill also things to do that so they have to find those things in their uh, uh, files definitely they have recorded in the hard copies you know so what they'll do there could be many alumeros right you know they'll go through each and every file or oh, uh, whether we are having something let's assume the name of a student is uh, some sumuk or uh, whether the sumuk we are having oh no no sumuk no sumuk it is very difficult to find it so the last even uh, suppose uh, modernized uh, with the help of this tech in the modern world as what we say uh, suppose if it is stored in a computer sir the things becomes very simple yes definitely things become quite easier suppose if it is stored in a computer store everything in a hard disk right in a computer system how in the form of a word file or an excel file suppose even if it is stored in a word file or an excel file what we'll do is for every batch could be we can what best way of organizing the things is uh, create a separate file for every batch and store it in a uh, for every class and store it in a, a separate a folder that we can do so even after doing that what we'll do is uh, so there could be many for every class or a batch suppose if we create a separate folder then uh, searching a particular folder that also becomes a very huge very costly thing for us very tedious task then searching a particular folder there searching for a particular file then finding all your entries in that file in that huge set of data records as what they are having you know they are finding your name that uh, your entry that becomes very costly for them and what's the best thing they can do that means uh, searching accessing things becomes very costly for us but the best thing is uh, is there any way where by sitting in our home where i can apply and i can i can get it definitely that requires we all day we have seen that uh, I have opened my account in my village uh, Hassan but I can uh, get my get the amount even in Mysore Bangalore wherever I go how it is possible all my data entry my account actually it was there in my bank that is which is residing in different location that is in Hassan it is possible because they have stored it in terms of a database there could be many customer data they are having that bank is having that all they can access uh, from anywhere it is with the help of some application they have written and they made the data to be a centralized thing so that uh, they can access anywhere that means they have stored the data in a in one location and with the help of some applications they are accessing this is what the dates what the database they are having and at different locations 
the users these are all the users this is what the database concurrently we have seen that in the even in ircts also they are having a huge set of a database you know where it contains a train information right so and uh, what's the price of uh, um, source to destination that everything they are having right and all user details every user they can log in and they can access they can book a ticket right so that all uh, possible with the help of this database as actually what i'm trying to convey here is when compared to a file system instead of storing as what we said in the previous example that is uh, in getting a, a study certificate what we did we went to our school and the what the teacher started is uh, they started searching in uh, plenty of files instead of doing that instead of storing things in terms of a file system what best they can do is record also things in the with the help of some deep in, in the in the form of a database right to access this database make use of some software that we call by name dbms software so with the help of this software we can access this what we have stored this data right in in terms of database that means in terms of tables what we have saved that we can access it right so we, with the help of this we can make things to be as centralized and we can record it once and we can access uh, simultaneously concurrently uh, wherever we want and whenever we want it is possible right and uh, let us will take up uh, uh, what is mean by database means uh, we know about data that means a raw facts same data will record in terms of some relation based on some relation between the data items will record it in terms of tables and and the collection of those tables that forms one database right so let, let's say for example uh, in the school i am storing the information related to a student where what the student consists of friends a student consists of a usn that means a roll number then he is having a name right he is having a date of birth like that uh, many such information he is having actually usn name date of birth these are all the minute raw facts where it can describe what exactly a student is that means student become a table that means an object entity type right so under that usn name date of birth these are all the attribute that we can call by name in term, in terms of odbms it has the columns or attributes and actually usn and name and date of birth they are all the data items right and that means the data right so 1 4m at 10m cs 0 1 it's a data that is a usn usn value so usn name data birth all together we collected oh these are all related to a student you know and we have made it as one student table like that i can record i can create one teacher kind of a table there i can record the things which are related to a teacher teacher id teacher name age of a teacher those things i'll record let's say student belongs to uh, sorry studying some subject let's assume i'll record subject code subject name right and uh, it belongs to which semester those things that all i'll record so these are subject code subject name semester these are things which are related to this subject so actually this is related teacher student subject that all belongs to belongs to a college or a school you can say college or school school management or college management system anything you can call depends on the things the the scenarios to whom you are developing right that application so here it comes of student teacher and subject so in student we have collected usn name date of birth this is all the data right related to a student and teacher teacher id teacher name age this is all the data related to a teacher subject code subject name semester this is all the data items related to a subject and student teacher subject as what we have recorded here all are having in one or the other way it is having some relation with this college or a school right so that we call it by name that means collection of related data items that we call by name database that means what we can give the definition it's a collection of some related data right whether here will store who is the prime prime minister so prime ministers of india no you know will not record because at this point of time in the college management system or school management system it is not uh, related to that right only will record the things which are related to this right so like this then after this uh, 
we are having a database that means here we are having a plenty of tables right as what i have written here it's a college database or a school database right so where it comes of a bunch of tables right there could be some relations relations between the student teachers subject that means the tables as what we have recorded here that i will take up how to build a relation right uh, how we can interconnect one another how we can retrieve a data from multiple tables that all definitely it requires uh, to retrieve a data sometimes from multiple tables how to do it how to achieve it that all uh, will take up in the upcoming sessions now uh, to, uh, we required in the previous example as what i said uh, they are searching you know the, the teacher in the process of searching here also even if i record the data like this in the form of a tables easily we can retrieve from it that means the searching can be done and if new students admitted to a college or a school that also we can record right so the entry the new things new data items also i can record it here possible that means we can insert we can suppose if any student uh, uh, quit the college or the school that data entry that also we can take out we can delete it so for that we can insert delete and suppose let's say one student has changed their address or a phone number that also we can change it update it that we call by name the operation as update where we require some software that means insert delete update basically these are all what friends these are all the operations right so these kind of operations i want to perform on these tables as what I have defined that means in general on this college database or a school database right on this i want to perform these operations actually to do this operation suppose if it is a file will do we need to write some code you know suppose if you are making use of a c or a c plus plus definitely to read a file then go record by record for that uh, uh, we and pick each column and check whether it is a usn or not like that we need to write plenty of code instead of that with the help of uh, queries easily we can able to solve it but uh, to achieve these operations we need to have some programs as what i said in c c++ we are writing some programs you know behind this also to access these thing for either for insert delete update or search for all these things what we required is some programs to be written some programs for let's say for insert i have written one program delete I have written one program update search like that I have written so many programs to manage this data to access this data right and set of these programs set of programs that becomes what that becomes a software that means we are having one software where it helps us in accessing deleting updating managing inserting all such operations are possible with the help of this software and the name of this software we called by name dbms that means database it's a database right and it helps in managing inserting deleting updating right recording it for a long time right and that to what uh, it avoids unauthorized access also things that means provide some amount of security for us right so the tall are achieved that are all available they have written one application that is a program for that for all such things and collection of the uh, set of programs that form a software right so then this software where it helps us in performing all these uh, uh, insert delete update operations are managing of this data with the help of this managing of this database that can be done with the help of this software and the software we called by name dbms database management system software next so then what are the different types of applications example one small example i have given for you that is a college database school database where they are having enormous amount of information that means the data items to store then uh, wherever whenever they want they can retrieve it they can uh, do some operations whatever they want so in the similar fashion i have given one more example like uh, in a railway reservation system irctc right we have seen that there uh, there is a survey says uh, in the morning session around uh, 2 to 3 lakh people there uh, concurrently they can access a database railway uh, irctc database and they can book a ticket but have you seen friends no two to uh, no two persons get a same seat right uh, in the same train in the same date right in, at the same time right that never happen so the tall concurrency 
uh, simultaneous access they have managed in such a wonderful fashion that all will learn it in the subject in the form of a transaction management that all will study it then anything usually we have seen that in the uh, library they want to record huge amount of uh, book collections they are having they want to record it who is the author what all the books right what and what is the edition right who borrowed which book that all they want to record so for that we can find out some library management system and even we can see that uh, that uh, some online shopping uh, uh, right uh, online shopping applications they also they want to record many product details right these are the few uh, a, a few applications where we can see that uh, the usage of dbms where they want to store huge amount of data and uh, they are looking for uh, these operations insert delete update and search all such things that to what in a secured and a concurrent access manner right so that we can see even in a social media also whatsapp facebook there also we can see the uh, the use of this dbms then uh, i said the one small example uh, earlier days as what i said in the your teacher started searching in a files you know that is even in a computer excel file or in a word file if they are searching suppose even if it is not stored in a ledger in a book right yeah even if it, both of them are one or the same in both the cases right could be what in our word or file or excel file easily we can search it with control f some every time i need to type the uh, name and i can search I, I can type the search pattern and i can i need to get it so instead of that uh, what best uh, we can do i said uh, the dbms helps us with the help of the queries by writing a simple query easily we can do all this operation right we can access the data easily right that to what in a secured manner but the question is uh, uh, can we list out few of the differences between the file based approach and this data and this dbms let us will look into that actually in the file system as what i said word or an excel file uh, there behind that also there is a one software that is that we call binary file system software let's assume uh, in that case in the file system what we'll do i am comparing the difference between file system and as well as a dbms that i am talking in case of file system uh, the man there also we are managing you know definitely we can we are inserting data we can retrieving searching many thing deleting that all we are doing but uh, there how it is happening is definitely we know that it's a tedious task but it is saved in a computer system but the database where they have created definitely that also to be saved in the computer system only but the creation and managing of database that can be done by the dbms software right but in case of file system the data will be we are having a software where data files related to student subject everything teacher everything will be saved in a computer system but uh, searching can be done manually right but in case of dbms will make use of a queries where it gives us a platform to create a database where we can create many tables and we can retrieve delete many all such operation managing of data that we can do easily then uh, actually in case of file system the data will be uh, inconsistent data inconsistency might happen for example uh, let's say for example we have created uh, we are having a uh, uh, three phase student admitted to a college let's assume student admitted to a college there uh, in the admission section they have recorded all such data related to student what is his father name his name father name mother name date of birth many thing they have recorded address contact number everything then uh, principal said uh, uh, go man uh, go to a library we are having a plenty of book collection there you can uh, take any book you want the student went to a library and he was very much astonished by seeing a library oh what a huge collection i am having right? in our college we are having and he borrowed some four to five books assume then uh, again in a library who borrowed a book that also they want to record it here you know suppose if it's a file system what they will do is they are having their own ledger they are have they are having uh, their own file they'll record uh, the name is something abc then uh, us and roll number is something then these are the book one book two book three dbms ds python these are the books he borrowed like that they'll record and what's the contact number suppose if he didn't return a book for in a within uh, there is about uh, a time what they have mentioned that means within 15 days or a one week they want to call or they want to inform at inform to a student assume to do all such things it is uh, always necessary to record their address or a contact number contact information that also they have recorded assume let's assume 
after uh, uh, one month student has changed his address he moved from one location to another location or he changed usually will change a sim card you know the contact numbers like that uh, he got a, a very good offer in different sim so for that he uh, changed his contact number change a sim means changing of contact number that definitely that happens assume he once if he changed a contact number uh, uh, suddenly he visited to admission section he said sir uh, change my i have changed my address this is what a new location this the new, this is what my new address you recorded and they said uh, and he said uh, uh, this is what my new contact number you can record it they have recorded but uh, he has he went to a, a library there also has given his contact number and as well as address all information same information again it was recorded where in the library also let's assume even it was there in examination section in his department many in, in the sports section everywhere they have given a same earlier contact number and address but uh, currently he is only informing it to a admission section then once after this uh, he'll gone back he'll never go visit to each and every department for changing of his uh, uh, phone number or address there is a sports section or exam section or library he never visited he never informed so during that time uh, after that when we see the same data items related to that particular student once uh, the admission section people saying so contact number of this so and so student is this one 88610 something but uh, 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 library section people they are saying no no his contact number is this one different thing 998676 something they are saying so the question is all about which one is correct whether the things which are recorded in admission section is the right one or the things which is recorded in the library or exam section or in the sports section or in his own department which one is right that becomes very difficult to identify and this we call by name data inconsistency so in all such cases we won't get a right data and that will not get a, a same common data you know that could be a, some uh, a, a dissimilarities dissimilarities in the data right data items what they have recorded but uh, this data inconsistency can be overcome with the help of our dbms software where it comes up with uh, on delete cascade on update cascade kind of a different uh, uh, options and with the help of some normalization principles we can achieve higher data consistency so for that any change made in any of the location let's assume student uh, and uh, uh, let's say student uh, phone number contact number once if it is changed in the admission section then the same thing will be reflected where uh, let's say student uh, name usn was changed earlier the uh, university has given a 4m at 10mc at 10 now they have changed it to 4m at 10mc 11 because of some reason let's assume so during that time it is required to change everywhere as some initial is missing during that time student wants to update it so in one location if it is updated then should, that should be reflected in almost all locations this is what they want so such kind of facility is available with the help of uh, this dbms that means the principles as what we are having the theories right the things which are available concepts which are available with dbms that all we can achieve then uh, i said uh, the same record in the last example as what i said is student record is saved in admission section library section exam section sports section that means same information they are recording every time you know again and again again that becomes what to call this one it be called by name redundancy in case of file system there could be a lot of redundancy same data will be recorded in multiple files that becomes very costly but in case of dbms we are having some key concept through that and with some normalization principles we can avoid that redundancy uh, so that reduced red data redundancy we can achieve with help of this dbms right then after this uh, in case of file system it is less secure but in case of dbms we are having a role based security we can avoid unauthorized access along with that we can provide some privileges to the user with the help of dcl that means the uh, data uh, uh, data control language with the help of this we can grant and revoke the privileges that means the commands to be used by each and every user so for that we can protect our data it is possible we can make we can provide a more secured environment for our data then after this uh, in case of file system we don't have a, a dedicated backup and recovery uh, software that means backup and recovery process 
So for that, uh, with respect to backup and recovery process, we require some require different kind of a software. We need to install it from a third party. Then only we can get that get our data. Instead of that, our DBMS provides a sophisticated mechanism for this backup and recovery. We are having a backup and recovery subsystems with the help of this MySQL dump, flush tables, read log. With all such things, we can achieve this uh, backup and recovery. We can get back our data. It is possible. And one more. Uh, accessing, inserting, deleting, all this managing of data, accessing and managing of data. In case of file system, it is less flexi flexible. We cannot scale it to a larger extent. That means scaling becomes, uh, scaling up, that becomes very difficult thing, very, it's not too much flexible in case of file system. But in case of DBMS, it is more flexible where we can scale an application. Let's say uh, only uh, initially some institute is started only with a 1 to 10 standard. Suppose if they want an application, if they have started some 8 to 10 or they have started a PUC degree, those things easily the same application can be extended, then we can be scaled up. That means in the same database, they can extend it. It is possible, right? So such facility that can be easily done with the help of DBMS so that the flexibility is more in case of DBMS. And one more, uh, if multi, as I said, uh, file system, we don't have any dedicated protocols. That means the dedicated uh, 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 protocol support to access concurrently by multiple users at different, different locations. But DBMS comes up with some concurrency control uh, inbuilt uh, uh, programs with the help of that with the help of these log based protocols easily log based protocols timestamp protocols that all will uh, look at, uh, will learn it in transaction management with the help of those things easily we can manage the concurrent access multiple users can derive at a single instance of time they can access it and they can access the they can get the data uh, whenever they want right whatever they want it is possible at all times then uh, uh, in case of file system, the program data independence is not there. That means, if uh, because the the, uh, the structure of the file is defined in the program itself. Suppose, uh, let's assume I'm uh, doing some insert, delete, update. As what I have said, the college DB or student DB. If I'm doing it with the flat files, if this is a case, then the structure of the file to be defined in the program itself. So for that, any change in the data type or in the uh, the size, anything, if I do it, then definitely that will be reflected in the program. So for that, there should not be any, uh, uh, or we can say, uh, uh, any change. Uh, if I want to do it in a data, that definitely requires the program also need to be changed. Right, so this we call the name program data independency. It was not there in case of file system. But in case of DBMS, we are having a, a database separate so for that we can easily change the data type size whatever we want that actually will be stored in terms of a metadata data about a data that all will see it that will be stored in a system catalog right or data dictionary we call so there we can ch do those changes and again uh, uh, that doesn't requires to be changed in the program so for that the program data independence is high that means easily we can do it with the help of uh, this dbms then in the same fashion program operation independence program operation independence also not supported by this file system as already i said but once once if things are tightly coupled the program and data that means if uh, data files flat files if it is if its structure is defined in the program then if any change in the operation definitely it affects to its interface and as well as the data the flat files the format have we stored but in case of dbms since things are present at three different layer two different layers right the program separate then database is separate once if it is lying in a different layers the, so any change made at one layer that doesn't affect to the other layer right easily we can manage it so for that the program operation independence it is high in case of the DBMS when compared to file system. These are the few differences as what I have uh, uh, discussed. It is very important even uh, we'll find it, especially uh, when we are developed, when we developed an application, definitely we can come to know that coding to a file system as a, uh, having a file system as a data storage, flat files as a data storage, with files also we can store a data. But what's the difficulty? How, how much amount of code we need to invest 
to retrieve or to manage data then amount of code to be used especially uh, with the help of by storing a data in case of a dbms software which one is simple and easily we can uh, with uh, very less time we can say the application development uh, will be a uh, faster right that means in case of dbms the uh, robust application uh, management that we can application development we can achieve with the help of dbms but in case of file system uh, it's a very tedious task right these are the few differences thank you guys